There they are. <laughs> That's my little secret. This is where Wyman Tisdale holds court these days in his Tulsa recording studio. And it's really not so far from where he began in life as a kid here in Tulsa. I had started playing music before basketball, actually. I thought I was going to be a musician and thought I, that, you know, that was going to be my whole mission in life was to be on tour with Michael Jackson or somebody. <laughs> but After an all-star career at OU and more than a decade in the pros, Wayman picked up his old hobby again and turned it into a new career. Like the last two years of my 12 years, I was probably known more for my music than basketball because, you know, I wasn't getting to play so much. You know, I was on a very good team and very good teams and, and it still was a very important part of the team, but my music had taken off so, you know, aggressive and so broad that, you know, everybody knew me as, you know, hey, there's a Wayman Tis that also plays music. That's, that was kind of a hurdle to, you know, to get over. So the, the, uh, the fact that I played basketball was, it's, you know, especially trying to get a record deal, it's probably, it was probably the biggest deterrent because, you know, as soon as the record companies would hear that I was a basketball player or uh, athlete, they were like, oh gosh, here's another one. Here's another rapper or here's a, <laughs> come on rap for me kid and get on out of here. I'm like, oh God. So, you know, no. I was, uh, in fact, when we walked in to get the, to, uh, I had a friend to take the actual uh, demo into the uh, record label and did not tell them. I said, do not tell them who it is. And they, they went down through like my eight songs of my demo and the people were going crazy. And then they said, guess who this is? And then they told them it was me. So. With five albums out, including a new gospel release, Wayman is still smiling. It occurs to me then that you're in a unique position to be an ambassador in two ways. You can be an ambassador for Oklahoma around the country and around the world and an ambassador for jazz in Oklahoma. Definitely. I feel that, that I'm here for a reason of some sort and why not? <laughs> you know, I just feel that, and the thing I've always tried to be is true, true to myself first. And, 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 and I feel that I'm... Uh, the, pe the best person I know. <laughs> no, just for us. <laughs> just for us. But for us, you know, being the ambassador for Oklahoma, I, I, I've always been that. I've loved the state. I've always loved it. And even when I was in the NBA, people say, where you live, man? I said, man, I live in Tulsa, Oklahoma. They're like, Tulsa? I said, yeah, you ought to come visit me sometime. So I've always been that, that I wanted to be that person to to beat the drum for Oklahoma because I know how great of a place it is. And, you know, I could have continued to live in California when I, you know, retired. Or I, you know, the first thing I did was I, I had caught the first plane home to, to come home. So I'm excited about being back and I'm just loving, you know, raising my kids here. Do all of your kids share your feelings about Oklahoma, do you think, of they? Oh, yeah. They will fight you over this, this state. They will, they, you can't say anything bad about Tulsa. They wanted to come back to Tulsa more than stay in, you know, anywhere. And, you know, it was just a, a great, I think it's a great testimony of how great, you know, Tulsa is. And, and, and when people, I get a lot of my L.A. friends to come here now because I don't go to work out there that much anymore. Cause I, I, I brought my work here. And when they, once they get here, they cannot believe it. They say, I see, you know, they can understand why I'm not out there. And, and, and they want to see why I would ever leave something like this. And I don't plan on it. 